Hey guys, it's Elaine Hardy Fit. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, our relationship with food. All of us, even me, have a tendency to eat sometimes for the wrong reasons. Sometimes that's what has gotten us into any weight struggles we've had in our lives is, is our relationship with food. And the problem with eating, well, it's not a problem, it's a good thing, but, but one of the issues is when we eat, we do get a very short period of time where our serotonin is raised up. And that's that whole satiety hormone, I'm full. But serotonin is also very calming and it, it gives us a feeling of, of feeling good. So I think sometimes we go for things that give us that quick serotonin boost, and that would be, you know, eating for the wrong reasons. So part of the portion control and 21 day fix and an eating plan that we have is that we're trying to kind of change your relationship with food and teach you portion control, teach you when to eat and how to eat. Um, I want you guys to start thinking about food as your fuel, you know, fuel for your workouts, fuel for your muscles, fuel for your body to change and fuel for your brain and fuel to ward off disease and to maybe help heal disease or heal from any medical problems you've been having. I don't want you to be using food as a reward for yourself or as a stress reliever, you know, that's one of the things, sometimes I come home from work and I get on the computer and I, you know, I'll tend to be eating my almonds, but then, whoa, what about counting out 12 almonds and now I've eaten half a can. So I, and that's the mindless eating because I'm stressed and I'm tired and I'm hungry and I'm, I'm looking for that serotonin boost, but I'm, I'm doing that sort of mindless eating. So one of the steps in changing your relationship with food is to do a conscious eating chewing your food and slowing down and not inhaling your food and sort of enjoying every bite and to step away from the computer and to sit down at a table and not be multitasking, which of course I do every day for lunch at work. Another thing is don't be an all or nothing person. Don't be like, I'm either all in with the diet or I'm all out. I screwed up today, so I'm just going to eat cake and Doritos and call it a day. Don't punish yourself like that and don't be all in or all out. You know, there is something like eating in moderation. So if you have a bad day on our diet, don't throw in the rest of the 21 days. Keep going. I also want you to start asking yourself, why am I eating right now? Am I eating because it's, you know, scheduled? Am I eating because it's lunchtime? Am I eating because I'm actually hungry? Or am I eating because I'm stressed and I'm yelling at my kids? So you have to ask yourself, what, do, what am I going to gain from this? What do I need right now? Why am I putting this food in my mouth? Am I stress eating? Um, I also want you to, to, again, sit down and do that mindful eating. Chew your food, taste your food, and physically enjoy that feeling of being full but not stuffed. There's a difference between eating until you're full in eating until you're uncomfortably, you know, stuffed. So cut yourself off when you feel comfortable and full and when you've enjoyed that meal. So I want you to view this whole experience as something where you can start to change your relationship with food. I love food, I am a foodie, I love the way food tastes, I enjoy food, but I have tried to change my mindset. Now I'm eating as fuel, so when I have to eat egg yolks every single morning, that's okay. I, I'm eating for fuel and I'm eating because I just worked out and I need to feed my muscles. And even though egg whites don't taste as good as buttermilk pancakes, all right, that's fine because I, I'm eating for a goal. I have a goal in mind. So start thinking about that. There's a lot of books and websites where you can read about how to change your relationship with food, but I've given you a lot of the tips now, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.